Okay, so in this lesson here, we need to to go ahead and actually apply some detailed normal maps um, to our headlight textures and to our turn signals. And the easiest way to do that, since we didn't really model any very very specific detail into the actual geometric shapes of these, is we're going to go ahead and use normal maps and apply them to our shaders so that we can then capture that detail and it's um, basically going to be easier to render as well and so what we need to go ahead and do is we're just basically going to select um, one of our geometric shapes and I hit the uh, hyper shade button there and so I'm going to go ahead and graph it here and since we have the material here basically already set up all we really need to go ahead and do is just simply apply normal maps here and that'll give us enough um, detailed information so whenever we go to render it it looks like a really detailed you know object inside of the the model itself so I'm gonna go ahead and hit control A to bring up the attribute editor uh, we're gonna scroll down here to the normal map slot which V-Ray calls it the bump and normal mapping and so we'll just go ahead and click the button to plug a file node into it turn the filter type off and we'll just go ahead and use the white lens normal map that I made go back into the shader here and at one this is going to be way too heavy to actually go ahead and render it'll, it'll just give us a lot of errors rather than actually being um, normal so I'm gonna keep it on the the map type on the on the bump map and I'm just gonna turn the intensity down to say like 0.25 and that should give us enough detail whenever we go to render it actually look like a a fully detailed light um, light surface so we're gonna do this for the rest of them too just graph it basically plug a file node in here turn the filter type off and adjust the the intensity to 0.25 for all of them so we just need to go ahead and do this for all the surfaces here and it's, since it's just the same process over and over again I'm not gonna go ahead and sort of bore you with that okay we'll go ahead and clear that out just graph it. We got the normal map here to 0.25. Go ahead for the back here. Do it for the orange ones too. and I want to go ahead and do it for these little ones there too inside of the fog light now I also want to do it here for uh, the logo and so I just want to make sure that I'm going to graph the node and make sure I select all the objects with it because I just want to see exactly what's selected there with it and that's fine it's just those two so we're gonna go ahead and plug those in too making sure that our normal maps are gonna match correctly and there I'm just going to use a point two because we don't really need the the hood element to actually be that detailed I want to have a little bit of variation in there not a whole lot and we'll 
do the same thing there for the white port. And there you go, you can see that we have all of our normal maps set up for our objects. And I just have to go ahead and do that last one there on the side. Nope, that's actually done. So yeah, we have uh, all of our normal maps set up the way that we want. Um, if you want, you, can, you know, you can always do the inside portion of the light here too, which you might not need it. Um, it just depends on how, you know, refractive that you would actually go ahead and make that surface. Um, but in this case, I'm not going to go ahead and do that, and so, you know, we should be okay whenever we go to render it.